Hello my dear friend, welcome back. My name is David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com In this video I'm going to talk about an important topic and its name is recursion. So, introduction. Recursion in computer engineering refers to a method where a function calls itself as the part of its execution. This allows a problem to be broken down into smaller, more manageable sub-problems and it continues until a base case or termination condition is reached. Recursion is commonly used in tasks that can be defined in terms of smaller sub-problems such as sorting algorithms like merge sort or quick sort, tree traversals and mathematical problems like calculating the factorials or Fibonacci numbers. The key characteristics of recursion are the base case and the recursive case. So the base case is the condition that stops the recursion from continuing in indefinitely, indefinitely. And the recursive case is the part where the function calls itself often with a smaller or simple input. So here I've written for you a C program with the recursive algorithm. So below is an example of a recursive program in C that calculates the factorial of a number. So now we do it uh, together, step by step, uh, using uh, code blocks. So code blocks is an open source cross-platform IDE. You can download it uh, for free. So let's click here, create a new project, console application. So we need to click next, it's a C project, so we need to click C project title, we can call it simply recursion. Next, we use the new GCC compiler, so finish, we can click here, main.c. So we can delete this uh, hello world, we can delete also the standard library because we do not use it, so let's start, um, it is so a recursive function, so we write this comment, recursive function to calculate factorial. Ok, this is the main function, it returns an int because the int is this zero, when the exit is uh, successfully. So, but before the main we need to, to write uh, the, uh, re the factorial function, so int factorial and uh, the argument is n that is an integer. So between braces we need to write if n is equal equal 0 and it is the base case when uh, zero. So uh, the factorial of zero is one. Inside this if uh, we need to write simply return one. 
semicolon, then there is the else between braces, we write return n times factorial of n minus 1 and it is the recursive case So this is the factorial function. Inside the main, inside the main function, we need an integer variable that we call number. Ok So then we write this comment Input From user So printf Enter Between parentheses Between quotation marks Enter A positive Integer semicolon at the end, scan f percent d between quotation marks percent d because the we because the scan f reads in this case an integer that is the, the variable number and m percent is because we are passing the address because the integer uh, this variable number that is an integer is a scalar. If number is less than zero, between braces we write print f factorial is not defined for negative numbers full stop backslash n because it is uh, because we want a new line semicolon apples between braces we write a comment calculate and display the factorial Full stop printf factorial of percent d is percent d backslash 10. After the quotation mark, we need to write the variables number, comma, factorial number. And then return zero. So we can try. So let's click here, build and run. So code blocks is building and uh, running the program. Okay, enter a positive integer three. Factorial of 3 is uh, 6 because uh, it uh, because it does 3 times 2 times 1 times 1 that is uh, 6 then we try the release let's click here build and run and we try 4 so enter a positive integer 4 Factorial of 4 is 24. Ok, it works. So let's go back to our document. So base case, if the input n is 0, 
The function returns one. So we need to close this. Okay, so if input n is zero, the function returns one because the factorial of zero is one. So add the base case is this. So we have written the base case here. So when n is equal to zero, it must return one. The recursive case is for any other number n greater than zero, the function calls itself with n minus one and multiplies n with the result of the smaller subproblem factorial of n minus one. And this is the recursive case, so it is the art of the function. So return n, n times factorial of n minus 1. This is the recursive case, because you need to, uh, always to remember that the base case is the condition that stops the recursion from continuing indefinitely. The recursive case is the part where the function calls itself often with a smaller or simpler input. So, for example, if you call factorial of 4, as we did, the function works as factorial of 4 is 4 times factorial of 3. Factorial of 3 is 3 times factorial of 2. Factorial of 2 is 2 times factorial of 1. Factorial of 1 is 1 times factorial of 0. Factorial of 0 is 1. And it is the base case. So the factorial of 4 returns 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 1, that is 24. Computational complexity. Time complexity. Each recursive call reduces the value of n by 1 until the base case is reached. Therefore, the total number of recursive calls is proportional to n. Therefore, the time complexity of the factorial algorithms is O of n. And this means that for a given input n, the algorithm will take linear time in relation to n. Space complexity. The space complexity depends on the number of recursive calls that are made, which are stored on the call stack. In uh, the case of the factorial function, the depth of recursion is n, meaning that the maximum number of stack frames in memory at a given point is proportional to n. Therefore, the space complexity is also on, excluding the space required for the input and output. Pros and cons of recursion. Advantages, simplicity and elegance in code, especially for problems that are naturally recursive like tree traversals, factorial Fibonacci. Easier to write and understand for certain problems compared to iterative solutions. Disadvantages: recursion can be less efficient due to function call overhead and increased space usage because of the call stack. There is a risk of stack overflow in the recursion depth if the recursion depth is too large, especially for large inputs. Optimizations. In practice, if recursion leads to high memory usage or time complexity issues, techniques like uh, tail recursion 
where the recursive call leads the last operation, or dynamic programming that is storing intermediate results to avoid redundant calculations, can be used to optimize the recursive algorithms. So I have written this document for you for helping in the understanding of this important concept about coding and programming. But if you want my opinion is avoid to use recursion because sometimes recursion often recursion degrades the performance of your uh, of your program so i want to remember that on my website you can find a lot of information about software engineering web development mathematics physics chemistry you can find also games like uh, the games of chess in your your free time uh, you can uh, you can play chess with uh, against the CPU. You can uh, chat with me with uh, my personal uh, chat. Uh, you need to sign up and use uh, an email. So I want to remember, dear friend, your donation is important. Help me update this website and join this uh, community. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.